What's happening family? It's your girl Zai and I am coming to you with an updated video from the previous video I posted telling you guys how to transfer your origin game over to your new drive. A lot of you all had questions, some of you all had issues transferring your game over so I just wanted to clear some things up and help you guys out. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what videos you all would like to see next and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I release new videos every week. So I wanted to make another video um, just to be more specific because I never want to release a video. I would never release a video that is not helpful to you all. Um, someone pointed out to me that when they were trying to transfer their Sims 4 folder from Origin Games from their C drive to another drive that the files were not already on their D drive or the drive that they were trying to transfer the files to. So I just wanted to clear some things up. Um, first off, whenever you download um, a program like Origin to your computer, it automatically saves to your C drive and it will save in the program files folder. So when I open that folder, you can see Origin and Origin Games. Whenever you download Origin and it automatically download here, it's going to create a Origin folder. And this is what it's going to look like with all of the components needed for the application to work. When you open up Origin and you purchase a game, it creates another folder called Origin Games and this is where it stores all of the games that you download on Origin. So in the previous video, I was telling you guys to cut and paste your Sims 4 folder, um, but I was not clear as to what I did. I did miss a step, so I apologize for that, you guys. So as you can see here on my D drive, I have a program files folder and I have a program files x86 folder. So the program files x86 folder is something that I created myself. I just copied, copy and pasted, pasted from my C drive. So all I did was you, all I did was created a new folder and I put program files space x86 and then I'm gonna just put temp here because I already have a folder called that and I saved it after I did that I opened the folder that I created on my D drive then I went to my C drive and I opened that up and I went to origin games so the next thing that I did was created a origin games folder after you create that folder you go into that folder open up your origin games folder on your C drive cut and paste it over And that's what I did because a lot of you all were asking me how did you get the program files folder it's not on my D drive so I had to create a folder so I can know so I can tell the system where I want my files to be stored so there's origin games and there's the sims 4 so the next step that I was telling you all to do now that you have the sims 4 on your d drive the only thing you needed to do next was to uninstall origin so after you uninstall origin you're going to reinstall it when you reinstall origin it's going to ask you where you want to install the origin application so you're going to click on d drive and program files that's where you want it to be stored so when you do that 
Origin is going to download all the or Origin applications to your D drive under Program Files, the Program Files folder that you created, because that's where you're sending it to. And it's going to create an Origin folder. That's how you get the Origin folder in Origin Games. So once you download Origin and you have it set up, you're going to open your sims game now when you try to open it it's going to try and download the games but remember at the beginning we already transferred the sims 4 game over to the d drive so the only thing it's going to do is read all of the expansion packs that you have purchased and it shouldn't take as long to download. It shouldn't take as long to download as it would if you're downloading it for the first time. It may take a minute or two to read your expansion packs and everything, depending on how many you have. Once it reads the expansion packs on the Sims folder that you transferred over, you'll be able to play the game. So I just wanted to clear that up because um, a lot of people were having a difficult time understanding where the Sims 4 folder go, which Sims 4 folder they're supposed to be using. And so I just wanted to clear that up. I created a program files folder. And once I did that, I created a origin games folder. After that, I copied and pasted the Sims 4 folder over to my D drive so that when I reinstalled Origin, it would be able to read my files. So just to clear that up, when you go into Origin game, go to Origin application settings and then you're going to go to installs and saves. This is where you're going to make sure Origin is downloading your games to the D drive for now on. So as you can see, the file location is in my D drive under program files, x86 origin games. Okay, so when you change your folder, you're going to click on your D drive, go down to the folder that you created, click origin games. So it's now going to save to your D drive program files origin games. Okay. That's all you do. Um, I also released a video to show you how to move your mods. Because after I released this video, some people were asking, you know, okay, I've moved my folder, my Sims 4 folder over to my D drive, but how do I move my mods? Because they're still taking up a lot of space on my C drive. So I do have a video on that as well. You can just click the link above or you can click the link in the description box. It'll be there as well. But I hope that cleared some things up for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can DM me. I have a Facebook as well. Yeah, just message me. I'm more than happy to help you guys. I will be releasing more content soon. Make sure you all comment, like, and subscribe to this video. Let me know in the comments what videos you all want to see next. I only want to post content that you all are interested in seeing. So in order for me to do that, y'all got to comment down below. Let me know what videos y'all want to see next. But I love you family. Um, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.